So thank you to Sigma and Digital Goja for letting me get my hands on the new 105 2.8 macro art lens. And I'll give you my review. So typically in the work that I do, I use two lenses. I've got only two in my kit and it's the Sigma 24 to 70 2.8, the art series and the 50 millimeter 1.4 and I love them. I switched over from Canon just to kind of give it a try. And with this macro, you get kind of a similar feel. You have this yummy wide grip that moves really smoothly. The weight of it is not super intense. So, you know, adding this to my kit would not be a hindrance. So I was told this was a beta version and the firmware is not final, so I didn't really know what to expect. But overall, I was really pleased with the functionality and how it performed. So taking images for a lens review, it's kind of fun to add some story in here. So Raven is a good friend of mine and he is a mystical character on the sands of South Beach. And he has been running eight miles every day on the beach for over 45 years. I wouldn't typically use a macro for portraits. It, it tends to get a little wonky when you're focusing, um, especially in low light situations, but that's why I chose to go over to his home because I knew it was gonna be a challenging lighting situation, even though I was using strobes, um, just to kind of see how the lens itself performed. So I started off using a 3.5 aperture with Raven and I noticed in his face, you know, you get the eyes and the nose in focus and it starts to fall off right where the chin is. And so I upped it to a 6.3 and you get beautiful focus all through his face and it just kind of starts to fall off right at his hairline. Um, so kind of beautiful for portraits and I never, I never would think of using a macro for portraits. I've, I've never used a lens where you change the aperture on the actual lens. So that was, um, that was different and really nice, actually. The autofocus on here is not the final version, so I can only imagine what it's gonna be like when the final version comes out. Overall, I really loved this. I loved playing with a Sony. It was all new to me, um, which I think is a really fun thing when you get so used to shooting one way and with certain products. Like, I think it's a great lens for, for product shooting, and um, I didn't, I didn't use it for video, but I, I'm sure this would be beautiful for video. And you know, even as a portrait shooter, I, I would love to, I would love to use this in some of my work. You know, um, just for a difference when you get these faces with such detail. You know, you want to zoom in and get that tight shot of an eye. From a girl who doesn't shoot with a macro lens hardly ever, this was really fun to play with. Mm -hmm.